So let's explain how a potentiometer works. So as you can see, a potentiometer has three pins, should I say, one, two, three, which is your VCC, output, and ground. So what basically happens in an easy to understand way is if I have a voltage here plus five volts, and I've got ground, which we know is zero volts, I can get a different voltage output here from zero to five volts by turning this knob. So what it actually does is it moves this wiper up and down and changes the resistance of the potentiometer, which then changes the output of my voltage. But let's go a bit more detail about how this actually works and why the voltage change. You can see here's a resistor symbol here, and that kind of gives us a hint what actually happens inside the potentiometer. Let's have a look. So the total resistance internally of the potentiometer is 10K, 10,000 ohms. So for example, we have our circuit here on the right hand side, two 5,000 ohm resistors, and we know by our previous tutorial that resistors in series increases, you add them together, so this is also equal to 10,000. Great. So this resistance and the resistance on potentiometer is the same. But what does a potentiometer actually does? So when I turn this knob, the 10,000 of the total resistance still stays, but the ratio of my two resistors change. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is when I turn this knob in a circuit like this, what happens when I turn it one way, this might become 3K, this might be, then become 7K. So the combination, the total always stays 10K. So if I go again and I make this 9K, then this would be 1K the total always stays 10K. And that is what happens when you move this potentiometer. Again, so I can move it the other direction and then I can make this 2K and then this will be 8K. Again, my total is 10K. So that is what happens internally of the potentiometer when you turn the knob. So the ratio between my two resistors changes. Now what happens when that happens? Let's chat about that. Okay, let's think about back now when we spoke about Ohm's law in our resistor tutorial. So Ohm's law stated my voltage is equal to my current divided by my, times by my resistance. So V equals I times R. So we're going to use this to explain what happens in the potentiometer. This is Ohm's law as we did in the resistance tutorial. So we know that resistors in series add together, so this is 10K together. So I have my, res my resistance, and I have my voltage, which is 5 volts. So I've got 5 volts is equal to I, which I don't know, times my 10K. So to get my I, I have to say I is equal to my 5 volts divided by my 10,000 ohm. And that gives a very small number, which is 0 0.0005 amps. Right, does this ring a bell? Guys, if it does, does not make too much sense, go back to the learning page and go look at the resistor tutorial. We go in more detail about the Ohm's law and how it all links, and then this will make way more sense. So now that we have our current of 0 0.0005 amps, very small because the resistance is so big. What can we do with this? So now we know the current and we know the voltage. Now that we've calculated our total current in our circuit, which is 0 0.0005 amps, we know that's the current of my circuit, the total current. So 1k equals 1000 just so you keep remembering that now that i've got the total current on my circuit i'm going to start splitting my resistors so i add my resistors together to get 10k and then i use that to calculate the total current on my circuit but now i'm going to split them 2k 8k by itself so if you go back into ohm's law uh, which we did in the resistor tutorial if you have not watched that yet go back watch it and just recap about it it will help you a lot for this tutorial so we got our voltage is equal to our current times resistance that is ohm's law one of the most important laws in electronics and we've got our current of 0 0.0505 we've got voltages and we've got resistors now what happens if i make my resistor the single resistors so 2k or 8k and not the total 10k 
Then what will happen is I will calculate the voltage across this resistor and the voltage across this resistor. So this is always linked. So if I've got my current and I put the resistor in of 2K, I'll get the voltage that is happening at my 2K resistor. Let's look at that. So my voltage is equal to 0 0.0005 amps, nice and small, times by 2K. And we know 2K is 2000. And that will be equal to, let's use our calculator. So that's 0 0.0005 times 2000 as 2K is 2000. And that is equal to one. So that's one volt. That means across this resistor here, I'll have one volt. The thing you have to know about resistors like this and the voltages, I've got a five volt supply and the voltage across this resistor plus the voltage across this resistor should give me my supply voltage. So if this is one volt, what would this be? We're going to calculate it now, but just think about it. I'm sure you can answer it already. So let's look at the 8K now. So my current is 0 0.0005. So we've got V is equal to I times R. Very nice formula. Our current is 0 0.0005 times by 8K. So 8K is 8,000. Let's go back to our calculator. So we've got 0 0.0005 times 8,000, and that's going to be equal to, like you guessed, 4. So my voltage across this, so my voltage across the 8K is 4 volts. So we've got 1 volt, 4 volts equals 5 volts. So that's how you can calculate the voltage across each resistor of your circuit. So when we have a lot of resistors in series, the voltage across each resistor must equal to the total voltage of my circuit. So that is just the principle behind Ohm's law, calculating the voltage across each resistor. Now we can use that to go even deeper into the voltage divider and why the potentiometer does what it does. Wow, now that we went through all that, um, just explaining how we can get voltages across each resistor when we know the total current of the circuit, now we can chat about what the potentiometer actually does. You remember that I said that when you change the potentiometer, you're actually changing the resistor ratio, but it stays constant to 10 Ks. So if I move it one direction, I might get 2K, 8K. If I move the another direction, I might get 10, 6K and 4K. So what the potentiometer actually does is you can see three points. So I've got my VCC point, which is this point. So that's point one of your potentiometer. Then I've got a output point, which is this point which is point 0.2, and then I've got this point, which is point 0.3 on the left hand side. Right, so I've got one, two, three, which is same as this one, two, three. So when I turn it, and for example, I get 4K and 6K, what is the voltage across my 6K resistor? We know is V is equal to I times R, so it's 0.005 times by 6K, which is 6,000. And if I use my calculator, so we got 0 0.0005 times 6,000, and that gives me three volts. So that means, this is where the magic happens. So that means at my 6K, I've got three volts. So between 0 0.2, between 0.2 and 0 0.3, I have three volts and you see here 0.2 and 0.3 so when i have a 4k 6k configuration when turning this knob i will have three volts on my output i hope you guys can start seeing where this is going to so now we turn the knob again and then we are going to have a 9k here and we're going to have a 1k yeah so what is the voltage between 0.2 and 0.3 again we go V is equal to I times R. We've calculated the current as 0 0.0005 amps times by 1K, which is 1000. And that is equal to, let's use the calculator again, 0 0.005 times 1000. And that is 0 0.5 volts, 0 0.5 volts. So that means between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3, 
I'll have 0.5 volts. So you see how when I change my resistors here, my voltage changes on the output. And this is exactly the circuit here. It's exactly the same representation what's happening in a potentiometer. So by changing your configuration between your resistors with respect to 10K, 10,000 ohms, you can change the output of your potentiometer. You can change the voltage. So if I put 5 volts in, I can get different voltages between 0 and 5 volts. And if I put 10 volts in, I can get different voltage between 0 and 10 volts. So your maximum voltage you can get is the voltage you put in. So play around, um, connect the, <laughs> the potentiometer, turn it a bit. You'll see the LED go a bit higher um, brightness because we're increasing the voltage or it will go lower because we're decreasing the voltage. Nice. So now that we went through the theory and we understand how the potentiometer works, how we change the ratio between resistors in the 10K range, so that actually changes the output of voltage by changing the resistance ratios. So what I want you guys to do now is below you will see some examples of how to build it on your own breadboard. Play around with it so you can see the image on the breadboard is the same as on the left hand side. We got our VCC output of ground. So we got our ground connected with black as we always try to keep ground black, red a VCC or power. And then the middle is the output to a resistor to a LED. So we spoke about the LED circuit before. Now we're going to change the voltage of our output, which will change the voltage towards our LED. And when I've got a higher voltage for LED, it should be brighter than having a lower voltage. Play around, let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, but guys, please contact me. Let me know how it goes. And just have fun. Until next time. Bye.